I believe that uh, when we first started talking to farmers, people assumed that farmers would say no. Well, my name is uh, Dr. Paul Quinn. I'm from Newcastle University in the School of Engineering, and I, uh, I specialise in civil engineering. I'm a hydrologist by training, and I worked for many years in diffuse pollution management, and then that evolved into um, what we call natural flood management, and that's looking at uh, trying to control pollution on farms, but also, maybe in the long term, stopping flood flow from coming from farms down into the system. Yeah, well, when you first think about it, you go on a farm, you see these flow pathways, fast, full of sediment, full of pollutant, you think, surely I can stop that. So basically you, you disconnect them, you put a pond or a wetland in, or you get a buffer strip to try and disconnect the flow. And then it became logical, saying, well, if there was even more flow, would it cause flooding? So we did a big study back a long time ago to say, does farming cause floods? And whilst we couldn't prove it, we certainly said we could reduce the amount of flood flow coming from farms. So um, we put together some initiatives which are now called natural flood management and in Ireland you would call it natural water retention measures so we've got some projects doing that in Ireland as well now. And the idea is let's just keep some of the flow back on the farm and can it make a difference downstream. I believe that uh, when we first started talking to farmers people assumed that farmers would say no but if you go and have a chat to a farmer and tell them what you're doing and why you're doing it and talk about their land and how they, they farm the land they will always agree. They know where the wet bits are, they know where the flow is, and they will eventually give you their local knowledge and say, you should do your scheme here. So engaging with farmers is always the secret. I think everybody in the world's in the same boat. We, uh, we over-export our soil. We probably need some more trees in the landscape. We need to expand our cities in different ways. And we shove lots of houses and roads on floodplains. We really need to start realising that the, the weather that's coming our way is serious. We are going to get flooded, we are going to have serious erosion, and we've got chronic pollution. But fortunately, the solution to flooding is also the solution to water quality. We just need to manage the land a little bit differently, farm just a little bit differently. Everybody can get what they need, we can get the food, we can get clean water, and we can have a, a healthy environment with low flood risk and low drought risk. So it's been really good at the uh, Agricultural Sciences meeting. Uh, 2019, it's good to catch up with everybody, it's good to find out what everybody's doing and I really do think things are moving forwards 